This is something I've discussed in the video previously, but I'll touch on it again <clears throat> because it's something that's evergreen. It's always going to come up as a concern, and I probably have slightly different thoughts each time I talk about it. There is concern about the consumption of protein and its effects on mortality or longevity. And the idea is that the higher protein consumption uh, is in the diet, the shorter the lifespan will be. In other words, longevity is condensed. These are studies based, uh, or conclusions that come from rodent work. And there are a couple very prominent scientists that have done this work. And, and the work is pretty conclusive that where animals were eating a lower protein, slightly lower protein diet, um, they lived longer. Now, interestingly, what is not discussed in, when people invoke that idea of longevity is that their fertility dropped. So these were animals that were living longer, but were less fertile. They had less reproductive capabilities. So important, right? That matters uh, for the welfare of, of a species, of course. Um, but what's so important is that people have translated or taken that data from the rodent work and assumed it applies to humans. And that assumption, of course, is very, very dangerous. So to be perfectly clear, there is zero evidence on a clinical basis that a lower protein diet will promote longevity. Zero. Uh, there's no study that has been done because you can't do it. When we do these kinds of studies in animals, you can take a bunch of mice or rats and have them on a diet for two or three years with for their whole lifespan. And you can actually see who lives the longest. You cannot do this in humans and it has never been done in humans. So there's no conclusive evidence. The best available evidence can only be correlational evidence. In other words, <clears throat> we just try to get an idea of how much protein people are eating in certain communities, in certain groups, populations, and how long those populations are living. Interestingly, a paper was just published on this topic, um, and it adds to others that have been published as well, frankly. And this one concludes, this was published uh, just uh, last week, um, in fact, just <laughs> uh, very recently, a couple days ago, um, that we see that uh, they, they noted in the journals of gerontology, animal protein intake is inversely associated with mortality in older adults. They found that in people as they age, in humans, the longest lived among us ate the highest protein. <clears throat> the, the shortest living, or the people who died more readily or at a younger age, in this older age category, so those who didn't live as long ate the least amount of proteins. So protein consumption was inversely associated with mortality. Now, importantly, some of the key takeaways from all of this is that we know that you have to have sufficient protein to keep muscle. Now, I think some people go a little too far. Uh, you know, it's not like eating more protein is going to push your muscle mass up. There's a threshold, you've met it, and you're good. You need to make sure you're exercising and challenging the muscles. Protein alone isn't going to stimulate mus uh, to keep muscles, uh, to keep muscle mass. But the less muscle mass you have, the far more likely you are to be more frail and have a shorter lifespan. So uh, the whole concern here is, is I think, wildly off base. Uh, you, you, we should be prioritizing protein, and animal protein should be the protein that we're focused on to make sure we get all the stuff, all the good stuff that we need. So, you guys, how can I sum this up? Because this has gone long enough. Don't fear protein. Any claims that high protein is going to age you more quickly, there's you can respond to that by saying there's no evidence for this in humans, uh, no conclusive clinical evidence. There's only correlational evidence. And the little bit of correlational evidence we do have, this study I just shared with you and even others, suggests that it does not play out that way in humans. That as humans start restricting protein in older age, they die more readily than those who are focusing on protein and getting an abundant amount of it. So one of my cardinal rules of nutrition still holds, and I defend it. Prioritize protein, and this should be coming from animal protein. Make sure also that you're challenging your muscles, trying to go to failure on whatever sets you're doing. If it's a, a, a lower weight, well, then you'll simply do higher reps, and that's fine. Go to failure.